Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vodblitz Universe. You're watching Vodblitz Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna talk about the new Japanese TD line, uh, Tier 7 Cheeto SPG. It's a great tank, and I really love it. And I want to show you why. By the way, all those games aren't played with 100% crew. So let's go with the uh, consumables. As you can see, multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit, and adrenaline for provisions. I'm use uh, Onigiri improved fuel and protective kit. Um, for ammo loadout, 32 AP rounds. Look at the penetration: 14 APCR rounds. Uh, it's AP, yeah, uh, special AP and HE rounds. The penetrations are great. So 14, 14, and 32 AP. I guess it's enough. Uh, we're using calibrated shells. Look at those penetrations on tier six, uh, seven. Sorry, uh, you got. They are great. I'm also using enhanced gun lane drive and vertical stabilizer. Um, here we have defense system, enhanced armor because the armor, frontal armor is great. Toolbox, um, camouflage net. You can use optics also. It depends. Uh, maybe I would switch it. Who knows? Improved control and consumable delivery system or hand consumables. It really depends on your playstyle. Uh, let's look at the armor. Uh, sorry, I'm using PC version, uh, the online version of the armor inspector because the one on Android isn't really uh, updated to tier uh, to 6.9. But look at this armor. Just against medium tanks, there's not much of a chance they're gonna pen you. Uh, of course, they can pen the hatch, those uh, little uh, triangles on the sides and the uh, bottom plate. Uh, but if you wiggle a bit, you will be able to easily uh, troll them. And look at this, when you use full gun depression, well, uh, and you stay hold down, there's simply no way with uh, AP they go to pen you. Let's switch to some uh, TD uh, so we can uh, look how good the armor is. Let's take J Panther. And look at this, yeah. When you against J Panther, um, well, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, you should be uh, trying to wiggle on the ridge like this so you can uh, get a lucky bounce. But uh, maybe side scrape a bit, but it's not advised really. The side armor isn't really great. But let's go and uh, look at the games. First one is, uh, there, there will be three games, uh, two of those are second class I ha uh, as I remember and one will be the first class, I think the last one will be the first class. And all those games aren't with 100% crew, I still haven't managed to get 100% crew but this tank is, feels just so good, I decided to make a review earlier, because uh, simply it's gonna be just uh, getting better, not worse, so if it handles like this with, uh, right now it's about 90% crew. And this is the last game I played, uh, which is uh, more or less a 90% crew. But you will see with those with uh, 80 or uh, below 80% crew, I found out that there's two mediums on the left side, so I decided to push. I pushed a bit too far, uh, but um, yeah, <laughs> here's the smasher. Let's shoot the smasher, no problems. The penetration on AP is really, really good. And look at this, this is gonna be a troll bounce. Yeah, uh, hello. Oh, yeah, hello, smasher. Uh, well, it feels good to bounce the Smasher, especially in the situation where the Smasher is a uh, broken tank. Uh, and yeah, it really, really feels good. Uh, so, even if you're pushing against, if you're top tier at tier 7, uh, you can really bully those heavies. And look at this, uh, even with broken gun, we can easily uh, snap a shot and uh, put it in. Uh, but Basically, this tank is really, really good. Uh, so if you're facing uh, tier 7 only, tier 6 and 7s, uh, you can just push as an assault tank uh, with the heavies in the front line and you will do still good because the most of the heavies and the mediums are going to simply struggle to penetrate your frontal armor. Uh, so as long as you save uh, from being circled by mediums, or light tanks, uh, then you're fine. If you just show your front to the enemy, don't show. Start try not to uh, show your sides and not to show your back. Uh, but as long as uh, we we have teams like that, when you just simply can farm damage, uh, well, <laughs> uh, let's say it was an easy game, uh, but so uh, yeah, but it shows how many uh, bounce you can uh, produce, like bouncing smasher. Uh, 
It's a good thing to bounce a beast like a smasher. If he was shooting HE then I would, would be like a bit more screwed. But uh, yeah, Tiger tried to use HE and it's all good. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, that that was the only damage I received. I bounced, uh, as you can see, I bounced uh, almost 800 uh, damage and uh, was able to get close to 3000 damage. You will see, uh, we'll take one more shot uh, on this VK and we uh, finished with uh, two and a half thousand damage. So, yeah, it was, it was really a good game, even though it was only a second class, as I remember correctly. Um, let's check it. Yeah, it was a third class, uh, but still we got uh, high caliber and we got confederate and 2839 damage. Yeah, I think it's good for not even fully upgraded tank. Of course, the models uh, are the top modules, uh, but uh, crew isn't at 100%. But basically, like I told you, the first game uh, was more aggressive. Uh, this will be more passive. Um, not as passive as you would expect from a TD, but more passive. Uh, but uh, yeah, T rates uh, can uh, easily penetrate you. You are not a really uh, great enemy against T rates, so that's why I'm trying to um, be more cautious. This shot was really great. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault, not the tank, really. Um, so basically. Uh, when you're facing tier 6 or tier 7s, you can be more aggressive. When you're facing tier 8s, try to stay more at the back. Of course, you can penetrate easily tier 8s. Uh, if not, with standard AP, you can use your um, special AP, the premium AP. Uh, but still, you will be able to penetrate. But you have to remember that they will also uh, be able to penetrate you. So that's why I'm not, I wasn't really uh, keen on uh, pushing the front line. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we are uh, we're losing on tanks, and I can see there's uh, nothing uh, good uh, going on here. So I decided to push uh, and uh, deal some damage, help my team because the DPM on this tank is really, really great. Um, I can tell you one thing: the DPM, uh, the uh, damage, and the uh, penetration of a gun, dispersion of a gun really can uh, make you feel it's a tier 8 TD. So I would really recommend uh, this tank to those guys who are more of uh, aggressive players than uh, passive ones because this TD can't... Uh, of course it, it can shoot, sit at the back of the map and just uh, snipe from the back but um, it's easier to uh, get frontline and stand fr stay frontline and uh, just push on those uh, big poppers of t rate as you can see here's the lever we're gonna shoot one into the side of the turret bounce one in return uh, from AT uh, T25 AT and this Borsik will uh, well <laughs> do a big hold in us but uh, as I told you t rate especially those big guns can easily penetrate you frontally and I showed you uh, how even against tier 70 these um, it can be easily panned, so uh, yeah. But we we change the a bit the tide of battle. It's uh, now it's uh, five against four, so uh, we're low on hit points. We don't want to push too aggressively right now, especially in front of the Borsik, because he can HE us with no problems. Uh, that's why we're trying to uh, get some advantage, take uh, time to to let our team push it. And uh, before he shoots us, we can uh, just clear him out. That leaves just uh, this Tiger P on uh, on this side, but we can't really get him. Uh, and I can see all my team is uh, pushing on this Tiger, so I decided where's the last TD? I haven't seen it uh, all game, so I decided uh, to check the spawn in case it was uh, AFK or uh, sitting on the right side, far right side, uh, on that uh, little hill near the um, near the bay. Uh, so yeah, we, we're simply gonna get, a, get around. And as you can see, when you're going uh, downhill, it can really reach the top speed, almost 50 kilometers per hour. But in terrain, especially on hills, I have some uh, connection issues, some pink issues here. Um, during all this game, but, but it went okay. Uh, but still, 
Uh, as you can see the power to weight ratio isn't great uh, so the top speed you will only get there if you're going downhill uh, then yes if you are going uphill or even on even terrain you won't be able to reach top speed um, there's no way you're gonna reach top speed uh, so just basically it's about 25 to 30 kilometers per hour um, in general so it's not that mobile as it looks at the stat, as it looks in the stats but still it's like it's a good tank I, I would say it's one of those uh, TDs my favorite TDs on tier 7 uh, we got the second class we did uh, 2630 uh, 5 damage I guess another casual game I would say anyone on average 50 VR can be as effective on this tank I watched some other YouTubers uh, like Drools, like uh, Mitzi and few others, uh, I don't want to just take time to, to get them all, but uh, you know, the, those uh, big YouTubers uh, like Pantooth, and um, they said, at least some of them said that this line is a really constant one, so uh, the playstyle doesn't uh, change that much. If that's true, I think I would really like this line because uh, I feel good in the tank it's not a passive tank uh, don't get me wrong I, I don't like to play it passively because when you play it passively uh, you simply can't uh, be as, uh, as effective because you have nice DPM you have a uh, nice uh, stopping power over 300 uh, damage per shot so uh, yeah, you can you can push with your mediums, you can push with your heavies, and just try to deal as much as uh, much damage as uh, you possibly can, just to turn the tide of the battle. Because when you, uh, you when you are left alone, there's not much you're gonna do. You don't have the turrets. You don't have uh, extremely good traverse speed. It's good. It's not bad, but you don't have incredible uh, traverse speed. And as you can see, SPG can easily kill another SPG <laughs> frontally. No, no issues. Simply, there's no issues. But if you are shooting at VK36, uh, which is really heavily armored tank, as you can see, the penetration is so good, you can easily uh, pen it. Of course, those shots will be trollish, but in return, the VK bounced us, so I'm not so really concerned about it. But when, when you hit like 300 uh, alpha shot. And all he has on you is 200. As you could see, we, we were wiggling a bit just to troll him, and he uh, hit our tracks. Um, yeah, you can do damage. You, you shoot, simply push, and do damage. And now, when uh, it's basically all over, we have two enemies left, two TDs. One is the SPG. One is the uh, what was it? Yeah, the Sioux, I, I guess. Uh, but. There's simply not a problem to now to push and deal some more damage just to um, take out your um, overall overall damage. And there's uh, another SPG, yeah. So there's two Cheetos left now, only one. Uh, but well, they weren't uh, great players. At least I think so. They they sat at the back of the map for the whole game. They weren't active. That's uh, why. My team was able to push around and clear them all. So basically, try to get a hold down, try to push as long as you're uh, top tier, and you'll be fine. You really will be fine. This tank is great if you like TDs and like playing aggressively. This tank is great. So we got the first class, high caliber, and Confederate again. Uh, we dealt 2,527 damage, but still uh, much of XP because we were uh, spotting targets for ourselves. And that's basically all for this episode, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, consider subscribing to my channel, it really means a lot to me, uh, that I know that you like my videos. You can also join my Discord, there are a few YouTubers there which you can talk to, uh, there are many guys, good guys, which can, which can help you and uh, you can talk with them and have some fun, so have some giggles. And basically that's all for this episode, thanks for watching, catch you all on the battlefield. Bye bye for now.